Hello everybody, this is Jeff Colbert from Schoolies Mountain Chiropractic Center. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about what makes our office so special and unique. And part of that is a technique that we use in the office called applied kinesiology. This is muscle testing, but it's muscle testing in a way that is going to allow me to use your body as a diagnostic tool. So what you're going to notice as I'm going to be adjusting Kate in a moment is that there are going to be times where her arm, which is going to be the indicator muscle, is nice and strong. And there's going to be other times where that arm is going down like a stone. And what ends up happening is when she is holding strong, I know that whatever point that we're working on is fine and okay and I don't have to worry about adjusting it. But when that arm starts to go down, it's indicating that there's a problem in there. And through a whole bunch of complicated nerve processes, she ends up having a weakening or withdrawal response. So follow me as we adjust Kate and you start to see the flavor for what applied kinesiology can tell us. So one of the things I'm always going to do is start to look at somebody's leg length because what goes on with the leg length is going to let me know what's starting to happen with what's going on in the pelvis. So Kate's got a short left leg and from there I know we're going to have something go on with her pelvis. So if you notice that as I challenge her pelvis for her sacroiliac joint, starts to weaken. So I know that's an area we're going to have to take care of. I'm going to go by and start checking some internal stuff going on like ileocecal valve looks real good, Houston valve looks good, kidney points are going to be looking a little weak. Her adrenal points are a little bit weak. The pancreas spot looks good. The stomach spot looks good. Gallbladder looks good. Liver looks good. So right now I know we've got an ileocecal valve, some kidney stuff we want to work on, and adrenals. I'm going to start checking some of the immune system. Drainage out of the head and neck is a little bit off. Thyroid acupuncture point is a little bit off. We've got a couple of bones in the neck that are a little bit weak both sides. I'm going to check some cranial faults. Stress receptors slash sinuses are a little bit off. And what I'm going to start doing now is starting putting together Kate back together again. Kind of like Humpty Dumpty. So we're going to use some SOT blocks for the pelvis. And we're going to start to balance that out, getting those legs to start to be the same length again. And then I'm going to start to do some acupressure out over that ileocecal valve. I'm going to work the corresponding acupuncture points for that. And then from there, we're going to go on and address the kidney issue and the adrenals. And again, it's just simple acupressure. It doesn't have to be very hard. And generally anywhere from 30 seconds to maybe a minute is enough time to start to stimulate that point. And once we move on from the kidneys, we're going to go check the adrenals. And if I want to try to kill two birds with one stone, there's really no reason why I can't do two sets of acupuncture points at once to the thyroid point. And once we go there, we're going to work on the sinuses slash stress receptors. And then I'm going to adjust Kate's neck. And we're going to use a little bit of a diversified technique there. And another on the opposite side. And then before we start to adjust the lower back and turn her over for the middle back, we're going to go back and we're going to check the different points. So stress slash sinus looks better. Cervical spine looks better. If anything should end up testing weak again, it would mean I have to go back and recheck something. But the adrenals, the kidneys, the ileocecal valve all look better. From here, I'm going to pull the blocks, check the pelvis. That looks great. And then just to make sure, I'm going to come back down. And I've got her legs being the same length, right and left leg. So I know I'm ready to move on. So from here, I'm going to adjust the lower back. We got one vertebra that's a little bit off of place on the left side. And we're only going to adjust the left side of the lower back today. And as we get her into position, we're going to adjust. There we go. And I'm going to ask her to turn onto her stomach then. As we come back again, we're always going to double check the leg length. And the right and left leg are even. We're going to bring her up to position two. She looks nice and even. So I know I've got the pelvis and the lumbar spine taken care of. We're going to go through. Double check with a muscle test. Hold this leg up for me, Kate. It's a strong indicator muscle. She's got something going on at T8. T4, shoulder blades look good, thyroid spot in the neck and the stress and tension areas look great. Finish up with an adjustment at T8, relax all the way out Kate, 
thank you. And one more at T4, all the way out, Kate, thank you. There you go. Gonna come back in. Her feet are even in position one, still even in position two. And what I'm gonna ask Kate to do now is just kind of stretch here. And she's gonna rest here for two minutes to kind of let everything kind of work in as she starts to relax. And that's Kate's adjustment today and something that you're gonna experience just like that in our office every time you come in. We take care of you from the bottom to the top and everywhere in between. So I hope you found this helpful. If it's piqued your interest, please hit like, hit subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you very much.